Uh, hello everyone, this is our complete eTypes tutorial course. In this course, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, model, analyze, and design uh, the entire structure, including beams, columns, shear walls, slabs, and finally foundation, which we use SAP uh, safe software. And also, uh, we intend to, if there is extra time, and we will do some uh, detailing as well. Uh, so this is the project. We want, I want to show you the uh, project plan, and this is the the plan. We have a structure with uh, four bays, five bays in the x direction, and three bays in the y direction. We have a core shear wall, uh, which is uh, 2.5 meters from the center center, and six meters length equal to the y direction, and we have. Uh, spindle beam here and also we have a, a parameter uh, moment resisting frame as well so the inside we don't have any extra beams now uh, the material we use is uh, concrete psi 5000 psi which is almost 30 megapascal and using steel grid 60 which almost has a yield strength of this one we have three kind of column, uh, so that means two stories is, uh, 40 by 40 and two story is 30, 35 by 35 and the last floor is 30 by 30. We have equal beams to entire structure, so 60 by 30. We have a slab of 20, mm, 20 centimeter thickness and a shear wall uh, uniform thickness 30 centimeters. Uh, for the extra dead load or superimposed dead load, we have uh, 1.5 kN per square meter, which, which we apply in the floor area or slab area. And also we have a uh, live load because it is a residential, which is 2.5 kN per square meter. And for the earthquake load, for the earthquake load, uh, we have these two parameters, which is the short period of the uh, ground motion 1.2 and the one second ground motion is 0.5 g uh, the other parameter is uh, which i selected from the asc 7 16 uh, this is shear wall and using r which is uh, resistive factor is 4 omega factor is 2.5 and uh, deflection this cd is uh, 4 and the occupancy factor is 1. So we go to open the software and we want to model this project. Okay, now we want to uh, use uh, unit ACI matrix and the code is uh, United States code. And for the concrete design I'm using, uh, you can use the latest one or 14. So I use 14 and I'm going to OK. So next, I should define the grids. Now, in the x direction, you can see it's uh, one bay, two, three, four, five. So it needs six uh, grid line, and in the y four grid line, six grid lines, and in the y four grid, four grid lines. So the the in the x is five meter, in the y is six meters. So we have the total number of stories, six uh, stories, and the typical story is 3.2, and the first story is 3.6 meters. Uh, now we can uh, just select grid only and OK. OK, now uh, in the step by step, we will uh, uh, finish our work. So the first thing is let's define the material. Uh, so here is the uh, 4,000 psi is available, and I want to add uh, concrete 5,000, and this is 5,000, and you can see the parameter is as 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 it is, and this is almost 30, so it was 34. Okay, and next. We're using steel grid 60 so this is steel grid 60 you can modify it 
and you can just write grade 60 and this is the properties is almost 413 megapascal now okay and okay we want to define the cross section so we have three kind of column so here is a column and i'm going to edit this go modify and here i can call it c 40 by 40 using the previous defined materials concrete 500 psi and giving 400 by 400 so you can check the reinforcement uh, properties you should check here in case if you use uh, user interface and you have to check this one design call so the longitudinal and uh, confinement bar or straps is designed right so other parameter will lead the program to the mind for us okay so we can make a copy of this one again and this time we can call column 35 by 35 so the same another property is defined earlier now one more copy and it's called c 30 by 30 which is going to be 300 by 300 millimeter and now we have three column and here is the beam concrete beam and I'm going to modify this beam and changing this beam beam 60 by 30 so here is using the previous material and 600 by 300 now we can go to here you should check this next time called design only beam and the cover for the longitudinal rebar is at it as it is and the longitudinal and straps material is defined grade 16. now okay and we finished beam column cross section and now we want to define the uh, wall section so we have another wall and i can call it wall 30 using the same materials and here giving 300 using shell uh, thin element and okay okay next uh, we want to define the slab section we select this slab and we can call it s20 using these materials and giving 200 millimeter so now we defined and next we want to uh, change uh, you can come right click in here or you can go to the view and change it so I'm going to select here uh, show modify stories and I want to create some masters master stories so the first for the top uh, let's this story should be a master story so I'm going to select it number four and this story should be master story and using story two so now we have three kind of uh, floor no, refresh no, okay okay now we want to model or, or uh, draw the column uh, we can uh, come to here in this bottom and here is called uh, similar stories so I'm going to select some similar stories and from the plan I want to go to plan uh, second stories <coughs> now in the second story I want to uh, draw the column so I can select uh, it's called quick draw column and I want to use this method and selecting the previous defined column so that's column 30 by 30 so uh, this column should be defined in this direction and here <coughs> uh, 
uh, except in the cool area. So these cool areas, no need to define uh, column. So we go to the another uh, floor. Uh, we go to uh, four and changing the column to a column 35 and using again the same method to define the column and we can go to again to the plan and this time I want to go to the last floor and changing this to 30 by 30 <coughs> Now we want to go to here, a quick draw beam. In the beam, we can select the beam. So the beam is the entire structure is same. So I'm going to select all the stories, all the stories. So now I can select here and select here and select this one and this one. And the last one is this one. Okay, now the last part is the uh, <coughs> the shear wall. So we can uh, draw the shear wall and You can select this quick uh, draw and select this one and select this one so we select all the stories this one and this one so uh, next I want to uh, take select this wall and I can uh, go to edit uh, go to replicate replicate and I can uh, put give it uh, this is totally five meters and I'm gonna put this 2.5 apply and you can see it's in the middle of the so now we are finished and uh, the last part is the last part is we have to uh, define the slab so slab is uniform to entire structure and I'm going to use uh, this one and selecting the slab which we already defined this point and this point in the grid this point this point and the last point here is so we have uh, one more one extra uh, selecting one stories and I'm going to uh, base base okay and I should delete this slab now what I want to do is I want to uh, create going to upper stories you can use this function and I want to draw an opening for the shear wall I can use uh, one stories and using the same method here this one and instead of the slab I should use opening so this opening so selecting this point this point this point this point and again to last point so now we created a one floor so I want to select this one and select and I want to duplicate or replicate it 
to the other four stories except the last one so now you can go to check next up stories so this is the story two we have but the last story is not so now i want to uh, c1 uh, rendering and this is the rendering so you can see the last floor is not okay uh, next uh, i wanna uh, select uh, the shear wall the shear walls so let me go to select shear wall here i can go to here using uh, properties and shear wall and i'm going to select shear wall so all shear wall is selected so i want to create some meshes go to the it is shear wall i use this method and i want to give it uh, a let's uh, five by five five by five it means each uh, plate should be divided by five by five which is almost one meter as much as you can give small so it will increase the time of analysis because it's creating mesh so now we go to back to the uh, uh, base to give the so now we are in the base and i want to give a boundary condition or fixed boundary condition Restrain, and I'm going to use this command fixed. So the boundary condition is also defined, and next is defining the, the load. So we have uh, three kind of load: uh, superimposed day load, live load, and earthquake load. So we have dead load is which is uh, multiplied by self weight one and i'm going to give it one and the second is called sd superimposed dead load and uh, add this one and second is called ex as a seismic load we use this code asc716 and called ey in two direction now first let me define the ex modify we can considering some uh, eccentricity let's see have about five percent and the time period should calculate using this one which is for RC reinforcement concrete and short period we have 1.2 second uh, G and 0 0.60 uh, and this is a side soil is uh, a stiff soil part soil and this is a d and this parameter is calculated based on the d and this parameter so the r factor is 4 the omega is 2.5 and ct is also 4 and occupancy is 1 and the second one is also we have to apply the same but except in the direction y 1.2 and and this is 6 and d 4 2.5 4 1 okay now we define the earthquake loads and just we want to go to add the life load and dead load so i can go to up and selecting again all stories and selecting this slab the entire slab is selected and i want to go to assign here called shell load i use uniform so i'm selecting uh, i think okay let me define again it didn't check okay so remember to say okay and then uh, after you selected these elements and you go to assign shell and uniform and you will see here you have other load patterns so we go to the uh, sd uh, which is uh, 1.5 applying as a gravity applied 
and second is we go to select preview selection here preview selection and using live load and the live load is 2.5 and it's okay so we want to change the last floor uh, loads because it's roof so we should reduce the live load so we i can go to select here uh, let's select one stories one stories and i'm going to edit and you come to load and here is giving the load so that's going to be uh, one and this live load should be uh, 0.5 so we do not consider the uh, wind load and also snow load uh, now uh, we are ready uh, uh, to do some meshing uh, let's go to select uh, again all floors all stories and uh, define mesh assign mesh so shell it's called floor auto mesh we can use this method uh, also we can add some numbers like let's 10 by 10 so that the entire will be divided by 10 by 10 so, okay now you can see every slab is 10 by 10 and next uh, we already have selected and I'm going to assign a diaphragm as well so the diaphragm uh, we will consider this place the displacement from the diaphragm so i'm going to edit this side rigid and okay and also assign it go to shell and using diaphragm now the diaphragm is also applied so the last thing is we want to define and select uh, beam columns frame section and we can select these beam columns and i want to assign frame uh, we can use output station or we can also use the called frame auto mesh uh, also i can use minimum using minimum and also maximum number of segment so so minimum is two and a maximum so minimum is two or minimum is like like five so as much as as much as we give a small mesh to the uh they need more uh time to finish each elements so we added the mesh and you can see okay so uh, nothing is left and we want to go to the define and run the analysis but before this, let me uh, bring some change to the uh, model. We want to see the time period of the structure as well. So using instead of the uh, icon, I want to use red factor. So for this, we need to define uh, the mass, which the mass should uh, take it or calculate it based on the load. So let's consider the acceleration or U1 displacement in the 99% in the X and 99% in the y direction and this each floor has so we have totally six floor in 12 we can reach to this target of mass participation okay and that mass should be edited we can go to the mass source and instead of the taking from the elements we're using a specific load so that the load should consider one and the live load should consider 50 25 percent for the uh, earthquake analysis so now we can save the model we can save it called uh, tutorial save it and now we want to run the mode the analysis 
we can uh, run here. Now it's uh, starting to create analysis and it will take a while to finish. And now the analysis completed and uh, we can display in a one uh, window and let me first see the uh, time period of the structure. So uh, we can go to mood shape and also considering I use some, this one contour and here is uh, now the time period is 0 0.7 so we have one approximate equation is called n uh, 0. Uh, n 0. 0.1 times n so n is the number of studies and 0. 0.1 so when we have six studies so it's 0. Uh, 0.6 approximate but when we calculating with uh, using the proper mass of the structure, so it be 0 0.7, which is uh, very close to uh, to the uh, to the approximate calculation. Now we want to uh, go to see some uh, other response, such as the uh, total displacement or total drift of the earthquake effects. Uh, we can go to here and uh, from the here we can select EX and EX is about uh, maximum displacement 40, 45, 47 millimeter and it's okay and we can go to uh, use a draft from the diaphragm game so this is a draft curve so it's less than one percent so it's okay and uh, we also can uh, see the uh, story shears and story shear is like this so the bottom is very large and then slow slow and you can see the maximum is in the bottom is about minus 4000 uh, now uh, we also can uh, see some moments uh, from the earthquake moments moment uh, 3 3 in the frame So this is it. And this is the moment. In case if you want to check this one, you can select it, and you can see. And this is the moment, equivalent loot. And this is the shear, and this is the moment. Uh, so uh, we can create a loot combination to design the structure. So we called add default design. We want to design the shear wall, concrete slab concrete frame and so these three elements ok and we define in case if you have uh, your own design uh, combination you can select it but it's already defined the code so the program will determine based on the updated code now we can go to the um, design we want to revise something so uh, here we can use the code ACI 14 and other parameter is a default but except the seismic design so mostly we uh, the, this kind of structure uh, shear wall uh, is an ordinary shear wall so it, it cannot design uh, permitted to the uh, D section so you should use some sort of uh, earthquake protection device but we can use in this three uh, group and I'm going to use B in other parameter is a default okay and so we previously defined the design combination so it's already for the frame is added so you press it and you can see the design is start for the beam columns uh, here we can see the design is completed but uh, some top uh, I think some beams some column is didn't pass uh, so it's called OS and you can see what OS means so here in this uh, combination we can go to detail and check it uh, so this is the it's called reinforcement required exceed the maximum allowed. so what's the actually uh, what we can do is we should change 
the cross section of this column so that it will pass. So I'm going to, going to unlock the model, unlock the model, and instead going to define here, define, going to the section and going to frame section. And I want to change this is the this two floor. So I'm going to use both floor. So need not this one. Uh, this one, and I want to use 350 by 350. So I hope this can solve the, prog uh, the problem. Now, uh, also I want to, uh, in the same time, I want to design the slab. So I go to one of the plan here, and I select all the stories. And now I want to uh, draw some uh, steps to design the slab as well. So now I can using uh, six stories and uh, in the direction of X and it's Y and I'm going to include a middle in this direction and apply. And the next I want to use Y and using B again in this direction. Now, what we're going to do is uh, OK, and I'm going to, uh, you can see in the bottom, it does not exist, and I'm going to select here an object, and I want to select the uh, two steps. We select it. If you go to here, select 18 steps, and I'm going to duplicate this, duplicate to other stories. So that was a story six. So I'm gonna bring it to story five and one. So that means the entire story should design. So this is finished. And next, I wanna go to select. Uh, this is called select object or select properties. And I'm gonna select wall. And I'm gonna select this wall. And I want to assign a pair. and I'm going to call it pair, pair Lego. So I'm going to select this is a pair. So the pair is uh, defined for the uh, for the wall as well. So now I'm going to again run the frame design first. But before we need to uh, run the analysis because we unlocked. And after the analysis is finished, we press the uh, concrete frame design. The analysis is completed, and we can go to a 3D multi. And pressing, pressing the frame design. And now uh, we can see uh, some of the uh, column is passed, and some of them is still. Uh, didn't pass. Okay, but uh, this time also didn't pass some of the beam. And I want to do is one thing: uh, unlock the model. And this time the entire uh, column should be uniform, uh, so it will pass. We also have one another way that's uh, increasing the material property. But this uh, 34 megapascal is quite enough. In some project, you can do it the same. So I should select all uh, go to object and select columns. So this the column and instead of the two kind of columns, and I'm gonna sign frame section and I will add this uh, 40 by 40 to entire structure. So now it's uh, done and this time surely each uh, column will pass so but there is one problem so the top floor column will increase uh, has large uh, rebars so so the, the problem is that the transfer with uh, movement from this beam but in the center of the column is or interior column so there is no I'm going to rerun again uh, analysis rerun the analysis and it take a while 
and the analysis is again completed and we rerun the design of frame. Uh, now this time uh, all the beam column is passed so to verify we can go to here called uh, verify all design is passed so it's asked me yes we already passed so here is a, a small problem I'm gonna say uh, here is a large one and the remaining part this one is small and the bottom is also small and this is actually uh, a challenge in in the ACI code uh, because uh, the moment in the in the beam is quite large uh, and the negative moment so in some other code let's uh, check in the Chinese code the Chinese code here we have a reduction it's called Chinese code and here is called beam gravity negative moment reduction factor so uh, when when that reduction factor is reduced so the program will uh, get reduce these uh, moments or negative moments from the gravity loss by 50 per 15 percent so then it will be uh, okay so if, if i go to run this uh, design based using this meta uh, chinese code so then it will be okay i'm going to okay run uh, so we can see this program is this pr uh, problem is solved and it's uh, the same because same cross section so the top is 115 and the bottom is large so this was the problem uh, but uh, in uh, ACI, we don't have such a uh, factor, so we don't have such factor. So we can, what we can do is we can uh, utilize uh, some other things. Uh, we can uh, consider uh, consider some uh, moment release in this in this uh, in this area in this in the column in the beams. Or as well as uh, we should assume uh, that the that the rebar should be uniformly from the bottom to top. And now we rerun again using the previous ACI code. So this was challenge. Sometimes you think this is wrong. This is not wrong. And okay, again I think we used Chinese code. No, it's okay. Now it's better. So the result is okay, and uh, you can see in the in in those area where there is no uh, there is no beam, so the reinforcement distribution is quite okay. So now we want to design the uh, shear wall, so we can go to revise the code. So using the same code, same materials, and so don't wanna check anything else. And here we want to design define the general pair and I'm going to call add a pair section so we already have one pair so it's called the base material is uh, still 15 or 15 and it's called uh, and that pair is added and I'm gonna okay and you can see the reborn configuration is like this in case if you want to uh, change it you can add so i and i'm going to press it to design the shear wall so the shear wall is def uh, designed and you can see the rebar uh, is in the bottom is large in the top is least and it's large is in the bottom and top is in the now next we go to the, the uh, slab design we can assume this factor and the cover is 50 millimeter okay or we can extend it to uh, 20 and inner you can change the inner or uh, uh, we have two kind of layer one is uh, layer a layer b for uh, bottom or uh, inside uh, rebar and also uh, outside 
and OK in the same code. The slab is two-way slab. And next, the uh, we want to uh, uh, select the steps for design. So we have the entire structure. So, uh, we want to select, select all the steps in the six stories. We will add design, and it will starting to design for us. The design is completed. Just just creating the data. And now the uh, slab design is completed, and we can see uh, we can see the slab. Even we can go to the plan. And each strip is giving the amounts of rebar area, top, bottom. And we also can check some other parameters such as the uh, punching and also flexural design, everything. So but we're going to uh, stop here. And, uh, and next, we want to create some uh, detailing. Uh, we can use uh, CSI detail software to create detailing. So, and this is the first part which we finished the design of uh, our entire structure. And next part is I want to create detailing of this structure. This structure, and the second is I want to design the uh, foundation of this using Safe software. And for the Safe, and I can go to Export, Export, and here we can uh, see this is called. Uh, this one uh, story as uh, safe. We also have the uh, option to design the slab in the safe software as well. But just I want to consider the base, and here we can ask them to uh, ex uh, export the floor loads, and uh, here uh, considering the uh, which load you want. So for foundation, you want consider the all the loads or even you can consider the combination so I can select five and the combination I can uh, select in the frame and this is wall uh, this is called concrete this one Or we can create some uh, combination there automatically by our bias. So no, OK. And the program will save this. It's called, uh, I can call the foundation. Save it. And the next uh, part of the video, we will see the detailing of this one. So I will open my C. C uh, CSI detail and see the reinforcement of this structure. Now here is the CSI detailing software. You can use any version you have and here you can uh, say uh, new detailing and uh, here open the uh, EDB file which we uh, previously designed. So that was a complete uh, ETAPS course complete it up course and this will tutorial one so I'm going to open it uh, it take a while to open because it will uh, use uh, the other software to open now the CSI detailing extracting the data from the that model uh, you should be sure to complete the design and analysis and then and the program will uh, work on so we see this uh, warning because it has the result is not available because we already designed but didn't save it so if i save now so and reopen again and you can see the program will give us but now it's working so i'm not going to cancel it again and i'm going to call new one and this time I'm going to bring the same but this time we'll not see that one except the spin row 
because we didn't introduce that two beam here as a spindle so we use that one as a beam so in case if we select those beam and define a sign uh, as a spindle uh, here uh, spindle so then we will uh, get the will not get that, uh, that that error so now we we reopen again and see how it work now the data is uh, again uh, extracted and we will see uh, now uh, which i said that the, the spindle will uh, have error because uh, the CSI detailing just using slab beam column wall and spindle so in case we use that spindle to define that two beam as a spindle but it's okay when otherwise it should be it's okay now we can change some uh, detailing uh, let's use new time so we can uh, we can actually did here and the slab so this is the slab data which is given from the program and the force the force and we can uh, change the unit actually as well so let me use metric so it's meters square meters kilogram and everything as it is and we can bring some change but it's quite a, a little uh, time consuming and we can select different size but the program can give us a proper one no, okay and it generate my entire structure detailing now it's the starting the wall So we created a uh, call default uh, detailing. So this is the floor, edge floors. So the, let me, let's see what exactly this structure is looks like with rebar. Uh, and I'm gonna show in, in a 3D and you can see all the cage from the slab, beams, columns, everything. So here is the model uh, because it's a very large and need a lot of uh, graphic. So this is the frame uh, concrete, uh, concrete surface. So I'm going to turn off this and instead turn on the beam rebars. So you can see the beams, so the entire beams, how beam is distributed reinforcements here like this. And I'm going to add the column rebars and you can see uh, the entire columns this is it uh, first floor and the second floor you can see how the joint is work now I want to add the uh, shear wall rebars and you can see how shear wall rebar is uh, arranged like this it is pretty nice and very uh, interesting uh, and you can uh, very uh, easily you can visualize and see so the last one is uh, the rebar and we want to add rebar and you can see exactly an edge floor rebar is like this let me go to the uh, last floor and you can see uh, there is a, a lot of option and you can come to here and change the uh, the colors and everything you want like this so we don't need and you can see the rebar is adjusted like this in the edge of the beam so and this is the uh, 3d uh, entire structure rebar and it's amazing and, and there is no another program can uh, do like this uh, so now we can go to see inside of the uh, 
rebars and also stories so i'm gonna call the detailing of the beams uh, let's go to see uh, it is called uh, one this is a stories so i'm gonna mostly use the elevation uh, section and elevation so this is the elevation you can see how uh, reinforcement rebar is we can edit this data uh, is arranged and also we can see the section and this is the section the slab is comes like this and here you can see the number which is quite beautiful and also uh, easy and much more automatic and finally we can see the bill of material how much uh, how many kilograms and concrete is used and also we can use the rebar cage for each uh, single beams and you can see very beautiful very nice and very logical and very practical and we can go to go to the wall and also in the wall we also have elevation and we're gonna go to see section and you can see the section of the wall is like this it's amazing you can see how it's arranged practically if we draw and it takes too much time and also we can finally create the rebar cage of just the shear ball yes this is it we can see from the overlap from the first stories to the topper stories how it works it's amazing and finally uh, we can uh, come to the uh, last part which is uh, how we want to uh, draw this one we can come to the drawing and drawing sheet and you can see this is a cover node and you can change it and here we can have typical which is typically brought the beam elevation section and here and it's giving the details and it's giving the cross sections everything so we also can uh, this is the column we can also bring, uh, bring them to the uh, to the this sheet and finally we can create uh, we also finally can uh, actually um, uh, print this now in the drawing uh, we also can input the exe file if you have here in the some other uh, software now we can get a uh, section and you can exactly uh, export view to the uh, some other software or even you can go to uh, the elevation and you can go to uh, export to other program you want mostly AutoCAD format and this is very interesting and Uh, we can uh, select uh, this elevation and I'll also bring some changes to this one so here's a lot of thing but uh, this is not our main topic just we uh, just I uh, said uh, we want to completely design and see how this reinforcements is assembled or assigned to the structure so this is the end of the tutorial and the next tutorial I want to design the uh, foundation so keep tuned and we will go to the next part